Well, millions tried, but only thousands came away with a ticket to the Michael Jackson Memorial, and one lucky lady was one of the lucky ones. But she didn't go. Yeah, seen on 7, Jamarcus Gaston has her story. Over a million people applied to get one of just nearly 9,000 tickets to Michael Jackson's memorial service in L.A. at the Staples Center, but we found one person here in the upstate who did get her golden ticket. At a place where music is all in a day's work, today was a day of celebration and sorrow as the staff here at 107.3 and 98.1 Jams in downtown Greenville joins the world in mourning the death of an icon. And I think I'm still kind of not like... It's hard to believe that it's, you know, he's actually gone. For Selena Hardy, Michael Jackson was an artist who helped nurture her love for music as early as seven years old. His music, I think, really inspired me to, to really, um, you know, get into music more when I was younger. And I think it just kind of boosts my love for music, you know. Though it comes as no surprise that Selena would join over one million fans vying to get their tickets to Michael Jackson's star-studded memorial at the Staples Center. I did it on a whim, actually. Um. She knew the odds were against her. A little over 8,000 tickets, over 1 million super fans wanting their golden passes to experience music history up close. But Selena still took a chance, and the unthinkable happened. Congrat congratulations, you know, you're a winner, and this is your opportunity to receive tickets to the funeral at the Staples Center. But not so fast. Then I open it up, and then I get all these details and the specific states that you have to be at the Dodger Stadium by 6 to, you know, receive your wristband that will accommodate, you know, go with your tickets to be admitted. And, of course, I could not make it to the Staples Center or Dodger Stadium or California for that part. Short travel arrangements made it impossible for her to go, and Selena wasn't the only one in her office to have dashed dreams. The general manager tried, too. Loser. Loser. No go. The station webmaster and fill-in DJ says she will frame the tickets she never got to use while using her love for music and Michael to educate the new generation about the legend that was lost and the gifts he gave. I went in and purchased domains, actually, the, the day after his, his death. And um, one of them was whoismichaeljackson.com. And that's one that I want to use to for the younger generation because when they grow up, they're going to want to know, you know, who is Michael Jackson. So back here at a place where music is a way of life, it's not about winning a lottery but paying tribute to music royalty, each in their own place yeah, and own way. In Greenville, this Michael is Jamarcus Gaston. Memorial. Oh, yeah. oh, what an amazing story, and it happened right here locally. Thanks, Jamarcus.